adventure for the numpties today. As you can see, we're here just outside Tennis Brewery and uh, we're just waiting on another numpty to come. Then we're going to give you a wee tour around, have a bit of fun. Then we're going to get a drink, it's supposed to be Tennant's freshest pint anywhere in the world. We can straight out of the barrel. But first of all, we're going to show you a wee bit of history of Tennant's and then we'll get on with the tour. Okay, the first photo we see today was from 1556 and that's when brewing began at Tennant's. As you can see here in 1740 the first brews for the public. So got a few women there working quite hard, rolling out the barrels. In 1886 was when they decided to use the tea. Um, as we see in all the cans now, the famous trademark of the tenant side. Tenant here, and then took full control of the company. There you are. But it was a few years after they started, the tenants lager was born. And that was in 1885. They brewed the tenants lager, as you can see here, obviously, in bottles mainly at first, before they took to cans. You see some different versions today. There you are. That's just a wee bit of information. From this part of Wellpark Brewery. Hello and welcome to Tenants Brewery. We're here for a series day. We're here to find out how it's brewed. No, we're not really. We're here for a swally. Okay, let's have a wee look at some of the things that the Wellpark Brewery is famous for. One of the most famous things and well known by tenants is the ladies on the can. This was very popular in the 70s. Um, where if you bought a can of lager, you got a nice lady on the can. This is one of the other things that Tenants tried. Obviously, in modern now, we have brewing machines, but before then, they had a large can of Tenants. Um, there was only a thousand made, and it is now a collector item, so if you see one, pick one up. This was the stout can, where Tenants put some recipes on there you could make with stout. This wasn't very popular, but people didn't think you should be making food with drink, so it didn't last very long on the cans. As you can see here, the first can was very, very unusual. If you see behind it, you will see a Brasso can. And this is what the cans were like when they first started brewing and putting the lager into cans. If you look up here a wee bit, you'll see the more modern cans now. They're the ones we know a wee bit better. Um, and if you look here, before the ladies came on cans, the cans still had photos on them. Um, but this one's Oban Harbour, and it used to be famous places in Scotland. And just one more thing. One of the most famous things tenants are known for is, of course, the tea. And the colours as well for tenants, as you can see here, have always been yellow and red. Hi there, you'll be interested to know that Buffalo Bill, W.H. Corey, was actually appeared here in Scotland in the 1900s. This is a wee plaque dedicated. Tenants very cleverly got in there, promoted, and were actually the supplier of the beer for the event. And just to know, in White Vale Street in Glasgow, there is actually a commemorative statue of the man himself. Okay. Bye for that. That's a few famous ones, aren't they? Ah, Eric Morcom. We love Desert Connor. Eric Morcom and Tell Wise. Bring me sunshine. In your smile. Yeah, quite a lot of famous people. Obviously, tenants probably take the opportunity. Keep up with all the ones that are coming here to Glasgow um, and the variety days. One of my favourite beers, Sweetheart Stout. I particularly like a lovely stout. And this one was given to me as a child. Yes, because anyone with iron deficiency or if you were a hospital patient, that is what you were given. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Maybe yeah, a slight kind of, kind of bit of or like kind of quarries, kind of rusks, kind of taste to it. It's not bad. Maybe slight kind of herbal aftertaste. What, what's the verdict? Yes, no. Maybe. Uh, it's alright, I'd drink it. Yeah, I would drink it as well. If, you if, you it, if you say it's nice as, uh, as the end product, I would probably disagree with you. I don't think it is. But at this stage as well, in the brewing process, there isn't any alcohol in it either, so it's still your, your warmth. That kind of mostly kind of such sweet, kind of barley, kind of meat mix taste with a very kind of, kind of subtle kind of herbal aftertaste as well. And it goes through quite a dramatic transformation 
and that comes through uh, the longest part of the process, which is uh, the fermentation. I don't know if you realise this, but that's no wall, Peter. Okay, now we're going to have a wee quick look at some of the memorabilia that tends to produce over the years. Um, they do bring out special bottles for special occasions. They bring out books, they bring out beer mats, and lots of other bits and pieces. But now we're going to take you upstairs because now it's time to have a wee bit of testing. Um, so we're going to test lots of beers, lots of different laggers that tenants do. And you'll probably see from our faces the reaction we have. So let's move upstairs and let's drink some drink. Right, you're going to tell me what it's like here. Cheers, a lovely virgin pint of lager. Portugal goes to Scandinavia, and Pakistan to the States and Canada, as well as the States and Canada. I'll leave the bottom of the table actually, if you want to look at any of the bottles, we can that kind of thing. I've got a permanent second paper. So, you tell me, how's that new thing? What is it again? There's something whiskey brewed with lager and peat and moss. And <laughs> yeah, you enjoy that. Look at that face. It's an enjoyable face. Oh, different. You buy bottles. <laughs> As you can see, the winner of the day was in it stout. Has to be the best by the way. I think I'll be taking a few home with me. Enjoy. Well, that's finished for the afternoon. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> We've enjoyed ourselves. Look at the crowd. There's only three alkies left. Enjoying themselves. Oh, away for the yeah. toilet. Come and visit tenants. You can't beat it. Cheers for now.